Hi lovies, welcome back to my channel. So it's a brand new month, so that means we need to do a brand new spread in my daily journal that I am doing with Kelsey Lee on her channel, which is Abiding Kelsey Lee, and she has this hashtag that is Abiding Journal. And I took that challenge, so that means you're just trying to journal every day, if possible, throughout the year. Put something down, whatever it may be. So <clears throat> what I decided to do was turn turn my bullet journal into my actual like abiding journal. So I have all the attributes, if you will, in the beginning here to like a regular bullet journal, which I love. So, you know, I have like my movies and my Netflix and books that I'm reading and bucket lists and things of that nature. And then I did, you know, your regular like intro page, which this was for January. And then I just go right into um, my journaling for the month and such. So I'm going to continue on with that same theme I got going on here. Let's see if I can't get to that page. So this is my February intro page into the month of February for journaling. And for me, <laughs> because it's the love month, it's February and Valentine's Day, I was in totally inspired by my lovey corns, which by the way, these are available as a digital print on my Etsy shop, Lovey Pop Design, for 99 cents. Um, I thought, I'm not going to print these out because I can just redraw them the way I want to because I drew them. <laughs> so... Just to prove, too, I hand draw all my stuff and color it all in and do all that fun stuff. So um, I took some of the images off of what I drew and just put it on my page here for my intro page. Plus, it'll help my journal not be so bulky as well, not, you know, by not gluing down um, die cuts and such. But so I just redrew some of the things on here. Like I redrew her a little larger, the little cherries, the cupcake, the strawberries, the balloons and um, my little heart, my little shooting hearts, we'll call them. So I have that um, as my inspiration for my February page. So just like I normally do for bullet journaling, I'm going to get the intro page started. And as long as it doesn't take me forever, I might do February 1st um, journaling as well. We'll see how long this takes me because sometimes this takes me a really long time especially when I talk a lot and I'm doing that. But I also want to put it out there too that I got the spring digitals. If you guys um, have seen the paint with me, um, the watercolor paint with me video I put out about a week ago, um, I actually turned those into printables as well. This is them printed out. I did print these out because I do, I'm going to be using these in um, something special coming very soon. So, um, and I didn't want to cut up my originals. So these are available in my shop as well. They're just labeled spring and these are 99 cents as well. These is, this is actually what it looks like when they're printed out. One thing I am going to state though is, is that everybody's printer is different and every, com every printer is different. Like you may not use the same printer as I do whatever the case may be. So sometimes, even though they look like this, they may not exactly print um, those exact colors because it depends on what kind of paper and printer you have. And I just wanted to make, you know, I just wanted to put that out there that sometimes, you know, it may look one way in the picture and it may not print exactly that same color when you print it out. And it may just have to do with the printer the ink or the paper that you're using. I mean, that's just the way it is. It happens to me too. Sometimes when I buy printables off of Etsy, they don't always look exactly the same as pictured. And I totally understand why, because, you know, my, it also depends on the quality of the paper. The better paper I buy, which is more expensive, the better quality of the color is. And I think that's just, I think I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> But I am excited to use these. I can't wait to use these in an upcoming project. I'm really excited to use my own art in a project. So anyways, I'm going to quit blabbing about all of that and get my candle lit. And just as I promised in my last video, I told you I would get a new candle on my desk. So I remembered I had this guy, which is my black tie from Bath and Body. I think he's perfect for 
February. I tried to find a red candle. I couldn't find a red candle to save my life. So I was like, we'll go with this one. This one is very smelly. Well, I shouldn't say smelly. I'm a very potent, strong. Is that a better word? <laughs> yeah, he's a little strong. It's been a while since I lit him. He might have to burn off a little bit because he might be a little dusty. Ah, did you see that? I blew. There we go. We're just going to light the two for now. Because he is strong. Woo! He is strong. So, grab yourself something warm and yummy. Light a candle. Get something that you love to do. And let's do this. So, the first thing that I do always when I'm going to do like layouts like this is I always do everything in pencil because if I don't like it, I can erase it. If I start it out with my micron and I don't like it, it's permanent unless I'm ripping out pages and I'm not doing that. So I'm going to get everything down with my micron and then I'll color in. And then just as a disclaimer too, because I will probably speed this up and set it to music because this always takes me time is that I'm not going to be using all the exact colors that I did to um, make these because I use my alcohol-based markers to make these. So they're very vibrant and bright. So when you do print them out, you are getting the best color from your printer and your paper. And as you can tell, they bleed. Alcohol markers always bleed. So I'm going to be using my Tombows because I know my Tombows don't bleed. They don't bleed through or anything like that. So my coloring might be a little different. My variation and coloring with these might be a little different, but we're still going to achieve pretty much the same look. So again, I'm going to quit blabbing now and get this going.
happened. I don't remember if I pushed record or not, or if somehow I deleted the footage. But after I finished this page, thank God I didn't delete any of that or not record it, or I don't know what the heck I did. But <laughs> I turned the page and talked all about my first spread for the first, which is Monday. And I took you into my little caboodle where I cut all of my little um, magazine images and everything. And I talked all about how I wanted to use my February because it's the first day of February. And how I used this lazy dog because um, I explained all about how my husband's Hummer broke like three weeks ago. And he's been using my car to go to work. So I don't have a vehicle. So I literally am like home bound. So I use this little dog to represent that it's freezing cold. We are in the midst of this big snowstorm that's been hitting like the east coast of, you know, the states and it's been snowing for 3 days straight and I don't have a vehicle and I'm just like cold and homebound. Explained this whole thing and that it was like only 10:30 in the morning. So I didn't finish Monday, so that's like really all I had down and I have no idea where that footage. Nowhere. No idea where that footage just kind of disappeared to. And as I sit here, I'm going, did I really record almost 15 minutes worth of footage thinking I was recording and never hit, hit the record button? <sighs> yeah, that would be something I would do. So you just got a brief recap of why the little dog in February is down for Monday the 1st. And, um... <laughs> I have no idea else. I have no idea what else I said and all that stuff, but I guess it doesn't matter. What really is bothering me is that I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Or somehow I lost the footage. So I deleted it somehow or something. I don't know what I did, guys, but in any case, this is all I got done so far for Monday because it is now a little later because when I went to edit this, you know, and I ate lunch and everything, so now it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon, but at the moment it was like 10 30 in the morning. This is all, <laughs> this is all I got down for Monday, February the 1st. So, oh, and I think I mentioned that I was probably going to leave a couple pages blank throughout the week and maybe do, you know, a couple day spread in my abiding journal for Thursday's live, I think is what else I mentioned. So, <laughs> I I could not just leave it like that. I had to film an outro. So, <laughs> and I can see the numbers. I'm actually filming this time unless I really did delete the footage somehow. I don't know. But anyways, guys, that's it for me today. I I got February's <laughs> intro pages down and I started Monday the 1st and the, now that I had to go back and find the I was looking everywhere for footage and all that stuff like I've wasted half the day. So, some of the other things I was going to work on. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get done. So anyways, guys, you, I have no one else. I was talking about all kinds of stuff because I was working on stuff. So I have no idea what else I was talking about, but it doesn't matter. I'm rambling. I digress. Please forgive my rambles <laughs> and, and my memory and, and my, my premenopause brain. I love you guys. You have a great day. Please take care of you. Enjoy the snow if you're getting it. Um, if you're not, I'll be happy to ship mine to you. No problem. I'll get it to you ASAP. But until next time, guys, stay creative. <laughs> Journal what you love. And if you're recording, remember to push, remember to push the record button. I, even my words are all messed up today. I've noticed that even my language is different. Like when I'm having brain fog problems, I can't even speak correct. <sighs> I need stronger pre pause pills. Oh my God, I have digressed. But anyways, I love you guys. You, you, you have a great day. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Journal what you love, guys. Bye.